Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small Class C that has some higher end luxury features, including an incredible full body paint job. This is a 2022 Nexus Phantom Model 24F. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Phantom and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys the Nexus Phantom 24P. It's sister products to the Nexus Triumph. So we're here at Motorhome Specialist and they're the only ones that carry the Phantom because they sell so many of them. And there is one particular thing that's different about it. I'll explain that later in the video. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea. Hey everyone. How's it going today? It's going good. I'm really excited because I've never seen a Phantom before. Yes. Even though I've seen a Triumph. Yes. But this looks fantastic. It Look sure at does. Paint job. Yes. And Andrea, I'm so glad you said that because so I'm going to get straight into it. The paint job's the only thing that's different. The Triumph has a different paint job than the Phantom. And what this Phantom is, if this paint job does look familiar, it's the same paint job that they did on the Nexus Rebel, which I absolutely love. I think it looks sharp, mean, aggressive, and kick butt. Andre, let's begin. Model is 24P Nexus. The actual tip tip length is 25 feet long. This sits on the E350 chassis. Right up there, we do have a nice fiberglass front brawl that actually wraps around. You can see the seams right here. And again, the full body paint looks fantastic. And I believe full body paint's optional. E350 chassis, but it still does have the 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. Side cameras, nice. love that. Left side, right side. And then look at these tires, Andre, and they're the hand cooked. Dynapro. I love those. LT 225-75 R16 with some shiny rims right there. Right up here, we do got mirrors, left side and right side. Okay, nice running board. I just gotta say, I mean, the paint looks great even on the, uh, the cab part, look yes, at it. Yes, yes, no, the full body paint looks fantastic. It is a sharp looking red and I love that. Coming on down the side here, we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights. Because this is Nexus, they do a couple things. So they got the warranty of steel, 12 year structural, six year lamination. The reason why is because other manufacturers are using aluminum for their caging. Nexus uses a high strength, low alloy steel, which is 72% stronger, which means 72% safer. Also, they use Asdel, which is a grain based material that will never delaminate on you. And then Andrea, Look at the water heater. I know. You go put a paint job like this on, but then uh, give me a water heater like that. <laughs> Unacceptable. Paint the water heater. Right here. Twisty doors. Yes. We do have propane and Miss Jen, if you could. Bing! Insert all the specs about this motor home right here. Very nice. Right here, we do got power. Okay. And then coming on down the side here, a little bit of storage right there. Okay. Very nice. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Dang that, but Andre, no ladder again. Darn it. Everybody thinks we're <laughs> lying about the ladder shortages, but we are not. It does have a one piece fiberglass roof. Uh, right there, it does have the backup camera. Also, it does have a hitch and it is a 5,000 pound hitch. And this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Coming around. Right here's all your water hookup. Look, they did it here. Good job here. Uh, they did paint over the exterior shower. Okay, a little bit of storage there. Okay, and then this unit does not have auto leveling, but it does have power stabilizer jacks. Okay, very nice. Right over here, Andrea, it's just gonna be where you're uh, dumping your station, black and gray tank dump station. Right there's where you add your fuel. Okay, right here. And then over here, Generator, Onan 4000 generator. Very nice. And then here's just the battery compartment. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Phantom looks great. I love the red, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. 
careful. I can do it. Take a look at the inside. Cargo carrying capacity might be on the passenger door. Here we go, guys. Slide is in. All right. All right, here we go. So as you can see with the slide in, still plenty of walkway. Incredible. You could still open the fridge. We've got a, um, I guess a foldable bed. And then the bathroom right here. The lights on? Yeah. Okay. Right, carry capacity. It's 1,264 pounds. Okay. And while we're getting the slide out out, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsor RV Life for this episode. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life. Tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline so so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, as you can see with this open, this small motorhome became very big. Let's get started with the cockpit area. So first and foremost, Andrea, 7.3 liter V8. I love this. Nice steering wheel right here. You got your mirrors on both sides. And then look at this screen. Right here is going to be your radio. You'll be able to see your left camera, right camera, and reverse camera. You got your cup holders here. Um, everything that you're going to want. Bluetooth, audio, SD card, radio, camera, USB, wh whatever you want is going to be there. Andre, would you like to sit in my co-captain seat? Sure. Okay, give me a second because it's kind of in. Yeah. Okay. How does it feel? It feels great. Ah, now that you got it slid back some, yes. Oh, I could take a nap. Right. Could you imagine driving down the country yeah, in this? Yeah, this is cool. I mean, you know, I got plenty of space here. And there's nothing behind you, so you right. could recline that I, all the I way could, back. I, oh, 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 I'm oh take a nap. She's, nap time. she's stuck, guys. <laughs> nap time. She's stuck. We'll be back after another commercial break. Yeah, I mean, it's it's nice. You got your uh, thing right there. Show that one as well. Very nice. And then very easy to climb in and out. And then a bunk over the cab here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This bunk over the cab holds what? 350 pounds, I believe. I believe so, Matt. Yes. I don't see a sticker. Good size bunk, but it is a little dark. It is here. very dark. I Actually, was... it's dark in the whole RV. Yes. Really. Right here's where your TV is. Okay. Your privacy curtain right there. Yes, yes. The cabinet above the door there. All right, there it is. And then um, let's take a look at this dinette over here. And Nexus always does a good job with their dinettes. Very nice and comfortable, even though there's no sofa. Really nice, nice material. Table drops down to make a bed. You have cup holders, you have this nice Art Deco light piece. And then Andrea, here's the valances. America wants to know. Andrea approved or Andrea denied? Denied. Womp womp. You don't like the valances? No. Tell me a little bit more about it. I think that it doesn't do very much for in here. That's just my personal opinion. 10-4. I feel like it's very dark in here. Yep. Um, I think a, a solid shade would have been better. There you go. Let's take a look at the storage. Okay. Oh. Is there something I can have? She always wants to talk. Siri she? always wants to chime in. So right there, we got more storage above there. Nice, nice storage up here. Nice cabinetry, but as Andrea says, Definitely dark. That dark cabinetry with the valances with the dark furniture 
makes it feel dark and almost, they need probably another row of lights almost a little gloomy in here you know what yes. i'm saying and let's see if we have storage underneath here matt okie dokie rip this off let's do this uh oh oh all that for no storage no, no storage womp, underneath womp. well andre would you like to show everybody the kitchen yes but before I do, I want to remind everybody that we are now part of RBR, yes. which is a nationwide network of dealerships in the country. We have over 93 now. Yes. So that means we have one near you. So if you guys are interested in anything, please uh, go to mattsrreviews.com, hit the contact me page or the yep. contact me button tab or yep, whatever yep. and fill that out and someone from our team will get with you guys andrea i love it let's continue okay so uh very simple kitchen we have a cabinet up here okay there is a window with mini blinds yes ma'am my favorite we got a little lily pad of power hey that's a lily pad of power um a little sink here okay okay extension yes and we've got um very little storage there okay uh, Greystone microwave. Very big. A three burner Dometic propane cooktop. Okay, okay, nice. With this glass cover. And you've got an oven. Nice. We've got this compressor Dometic refrigerator. I like that. That runs off your uh, shore power. Wow, really good size, this actually. This is actually a pretty good size for a I'm small I'm digging as that. Is. As you see, we have a privacy curtain here. Okay. That separates the uh, living area. And it looks like we have here, um, I guess you could use that as a pantry. Yep. It has adjustable shelves. Yep, for sure. And we have two drawers here. You could use this as pantry or bedroom right. storage. This would be your wardrobe. Ah, okay, okay. And... Andre knows what she's doing with this door. Now, I do want to point out uh, something here with this little sign here that Nexus does. Yes. Just so you guys know, that is a manual override for your slide. Oh, okay, good. Good. So if you ever have issues with the slide and you can't get it open or closed, you can manually do it. Perfect. Oh, Andre, there's a little bit of storage underneath oh, there as well. Oh, good. You know why? Because you can never have exactly. enough storage. Exactly. And that's kind of stuck on the heater. Okay. All right. So let's check out the bathroom. Okay, here we go now. Uh, we got like a little pocket door there. Yeah, the bathroom's definitely tight. Very definitely small, tight. Very small. But again, it's a small motorhome. Okay. Right uh, over here. It's very dark in here. 24 by 36 shower. Very nice. I like the height. Is that us or somebody else? Um, that must be somebody else. Okay, good. I was about to say, what? <laughs> the motorhome's moving on It's us. a phantom. <laughs> right. It's the phantom motorhome. Right there, we got the storage. Okay. And we have, okay, that's a good shower. Yep. And then we have the medicine cabinet here. Yes. Let me and hold the then, camera for sure. you. And then we have the sink here. Um, a little very bit of nice. LED lights around here. Not bad. I, I like what they're trying a to do. A little sink. Um, it's very tight, though. I mean, even... You got that right there. Okay, so even with me closing this door, you know, it is what it is. It's a little motorhome. Yep. And then you have uh, three drawers here. Okay? Aww. And then a cabinet under here. Yes, ma'am. And Matt, I already know... <laughs> Let's see well, how you feel about this toilet. I mean, Andre, don't judge the toilet uh, yet. Pedestal. It's porcelain. Okay. Oh, your feet are swinging. Swing. How is it? <sighs> Believe it or not, as tight as this bathroom is, it isn't bad. But yes, as Andre points out, <laughs> My feet don't touch the floor. This is not a prime pooping position. I don't like to poop this way with my feet swinging. <laughs> so unfortunately, it's not going to get a prime poop position. Unfortunately. Not for me anyway. Maybe somebody like Will who has tall, long legs can make it work. All right. So in here, we've got a queen size bed. This yes. is a uh, foldable bed. Yes. Um, we have uh, three cabinets up there. Yep. Nice storage. See. Oh, there's a little cubby back there. Yes, little cubby and LED lights. Uh, I guess that there would be a nightstand. Just a little one. And you do get a TV in here. Yes, very nice. Very nice overall. At a great unit and a great price. And Andrea, we are going to tell everybody what the MSRP is in just a few moments. But first, it's time we give everybody three things we love about the Phantom and three things we dislike about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Well, let's do three things we like about it. Yes. Okay. First and foremost, that paint job. Yes. 
Sheesh! Amazing. That paint job looks fantastic. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Truthfully, my favorite paint job on a Class C motorhome. Um, it just looks good. I loved it on the Rebel, and I love it on this. That is like number one. Andrea, like number two? Okay, I gotta say, I'm impressed with the Dometic uh, yes. compressor refrigerator. Yes. Because normally um, you get really small refrigerators in here, like yes. this size. So the fact that they gave you this I love it. is awesome. That's number two. Yes. And then Andrea, it's starting to get a little windy outside, so I'm gonna stay inside. But what I'm gonna comment on is the steel case construction, the Asdale sidewalls, the warranty of steel. Also, one big thing I forgot, and this is what Nexus does with all their motorhomes from entry level to high end. Um, aluminum ducting throughout the AC units. That's all super fe super features. Um, you guys are about to hear some things that we don't like uh, in just a moment, but the one thing we can always comment on Nexus is quality is there. Now, Andrea, it's now time for three things we don't like about it, and I'm gonna let Andrea take this <laughs> one away. Okay. Quality's there, but what is missing? Um, it's, it's very dark in here. Dark, dark, very and dark. Very dark. Uh, I have to say, um, I don't know if another row of lights would have made it brighter. Probably or not. maybe it's just the dark interior. It's the dark everything. Andrea, yeah. here's what it is. Brown cabinets, brown furniture. It's time for light. Brown flooring. Yeah, it's time for them to do some light interior. I, I think, I, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you guys think. And if you disagree with Andrea, <laughs> don't even comment down below. No. But, 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 but what I will say is, Andrea, I believe all of America, they're telepathic. They're, 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 right. <laughs> they, they're agreeing with you, Andrea, 100,000%. Yes. And it's so funny because the outside of the motorhome looks oh, great. Oh, it looks fantastic. And you know what? I lie to America because I always say the outside of the motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. I can't say that for this one. Um, Andrea, it's Andrea, just the dark, dark, and dark. Yes. So that's dislike number one. Andrea, dislike number two. For me, it's going to be the throne on a pedestal. That's just a personal dislike, Andrea. You know I have leg problems with me having small legs, so that's never gonna work for me. So that's dislike number two. And then dislike number three, per its competitors, is going to be, there's no storage back here in the bedroom and no door as well. Um, but again, it's a small motor home. Overall, they do a great job with storage, so it's no big deal. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this? Sure. MSRP on this motorhome. <whistles> that full body paint is nice. $147,399. Andrea. Oops. MSRP. That is MSRP. Sale price. We can't advertise a sale price. You know what? We are going to advertise a sale price. Do you know why? Because Motorhome Specialist is the only one that sells these. Um, they have it, current sale price on this unit, to one seventeen nine nine nine. Wow. That's a great sale price. Um, but as you guys know, MSRPs, they fluctuate. Like there, there's one here that's one fifty five forty five, m sale price one nineteen nine nine nine. So you really got to be careful about how you build this, how the MSRP is. Um, but that's about what the sale price is. And and again, Motorhome Specialist is the only one that sells this. So if you like this, go to matsrvreviews.com, click the contact tab. We'll get you in contact with Motorhome Specialist. Or if you want the Triumph version, the sister product to this, uh, we have an RVR dealership close to you that sells one of these. Maybe the price is higher, maybe the price is lower. I don't know, but here's what I do know, Andrea. When you contact Matt's RV Reviews, we'll always put our best foot forward to get you guys a phenomenal price. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV yes. and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Nexus, they are a big fan, so they do read the comments and they watch the videos. So please leave your feedback. Yes. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And leave a comment yes. if you like the price, if you like the fact that I gave the sale price. We're trying to get the sale prices back in the videos, guys. Yes. But we need comment. your support. If you guys blow up the comments, uh, that's going to give us leverage so we can talk to the people we need to to put sale pricing back in the video. Absolutely. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.